This is Spanish 2, sentences 181 through 184. 181. Yesterday it was sunny. Ayer hacía sol. Ayer hacía sol. 182. Yesterday he had to study. Ayer el tuvo que estudiar. Ayer el tuvo que estudiar. 183. He always had to study. El siempre tenía que estudiar. El siempre tenía que estudiar. 184. He was going to study. El iba a estudiar. El iba a estudiar. Now, I want you to notice in three of these, 182, there's an extra word K. 183, there's an extra word K. 184, there's an extra word A. Here's a chant that you really need to remember, whether it's past, present, or future. Half to add K, going to add A. Take it down now. Half to add K, going to add A. So if you're confused by why there's a K here, a K here, and an A, A there, go back and review half to and going to. All right, let's look at 181. Yesterday it was sunny. Why is that imperfect, Mr. Holt? Because remember, any time you're describing anything in the past, it's imperfect. Descriptions are going to be abba ia. Uh, it was hot. It was cold. Uh, she was hungry. He was thirsty. He was happy. She was sad. If you're describing weather, appearance, personality, it's going to be imperfect. So literally, yesterday uh, it was making sun, or he was making sun. And remember, all forms of ia have an accent. Okay, the only form of Abba that takes an accent is the we form, but all forms of Ia take an accent. Now, yesterday he had to study one time. Now, this is an important chant. Um, if it ends with an E, it was done by me once. If it ends in an O, it was done by Joe once. So, tuvo que estudiar means he had to study one time. Tenia que estudiar ends in several letters. It means he always had to study. So if I say, yo comí un taco, one letter, it means I ate a taco one time. But if I say, yo comía un taco, it means I always ate tacos or I was eating tacos. If you're confused by that, watch a clip on Predator vs. Imperfect. Okay. Now, Mr. Hall, I'm confused by this tener turning into uh, tuvo. Uh, shouldn't it be uh, teno? or tenio, no. Uh, tener is a train wreck verb, all right? If you're confused by that, type in train wreck, I've got a couple nice clips on that, or type in tuve. Now, I want you to realize that verbs that have a G in the yo form present tense, like ago, trigo, vengo, digo, um, they're train wreck verbs in the past tense. And remember, train wreck verbs never have accents in the past tense. So, um, again, there's some nice clips on that. Now, let's look at 184. There are only two common verbs that are tricky in the imperfect. Okay, almost all imperfect verbs are regular. Um, estar is regular, estaba. Uh, tener in the imperfect is regular, tenia. Uh, everything is regular. The only two tricky ones is, here's a chant for you. Ser turns into era, ear turns into iba. Ser turns into era, ear turns into iba. So if you type in iba, there's a nice clip explaining how the verb ear, to go, uh, turns into iba. And again, notice, it's not el iba estudiar, it's iba a. So one last time, if it's have to, add k. If it's going to, add a. That is Spanish 2, 181 through 184.